Get off! You're quite the general, Zoltan. Why not call me a bloody marshal? Sassy's got it into her head, it's either me or Yarpin. We drew straws, and I lost. It's good you're up. Henselt will be here any minute. Why? Would he be disappointed not to see me? He'd be bloody depressed. Henselt's experienced at waging wars, too. Experienced, my arse. Once they stand beneath the walls, we'll douse them in hot oil and set them ablaze. Just do your part, and Kedwenny heads will fly like fattened horseflies. The Kedwenny are coming! They multiplied or what? Time to give them a taste of hot oil. There are valves in the cauldron sides. You need to clear them. I'll take the left side, you get the right.
Leisure Actors! Back behind the second gate, or they'll kill us to a man! Fall back. Nice pony team.
back behind the second gate, or they'll kill us to a man! Fall back. Come 
window. To the walls! Close the gate! Yes, sir. Stop fighting, Arrow.
Repel those Kedwedi rags. They won't give up easily. They'll return if they're thick as bricks. To find bricks falling on their heads. Another assault is coming! Get ready! The day will be ours! It must be! Upper Adam! Sasha! wasn't easy, but seeing those ruffians run was worth the effort. They'll be back. They're as stubborn as a dwarven farmer. <laughs> but their balls are much smaller. I need your help, Witcher. I'm hearing that more often lately. Seems you're irreplaceable. Listen, tunnels run beneath the town and connect the keep with the dwarven mines. Who knows about them? Almost no one, but I decided to secure them anyway and sent a detachment of scouts. None of them returned. If Hensel discovered the passage, he's got us. A bloody gentle way to put it. If they attack from two sides, we won't hold the fortress. Now's the perfect time. Hensel's men lick their wounds like flogged bitches. They'll need about an hour to regroup troops and set up formation for another assault. Let's not wait. I'd rather you assigned me an able troop of men. I won't reform ranks now. This formation is effective. If they don't strike suddenly from the mines, we should hold through the siege. You're in charge. 
Lead on. You surprise me more and more. I thought... I'm not interested in politics. I stand on Zoltan's side, Yarpin's. Let's hurry. That's your whole army. Nobody else. Would you Maybe they have a the problem Gordon fucking and fair Kevlin. No dwarf would fight for Hansel. I'll take the lead. Stay behind me, Saskia. A chivalrous witcher. Another surprise. The world's upside down.
My lord, we'll soon reach Vergen. You'll take them by surprise. Vergen is in danger, and the Virgin of Edern roams the caves with a witcher. I understand. Your cherry is aching, and thoughts turn to pleasure before death. Kill them. I know a woman is flighty, but to that scale? Now you know my greatest secret. I had no choice. They would have killed you. Now I understand how you could combat such a powerful toxin. Philippa is a great sorceress. Even she couldn't have saved you if you were human. You're a witcher, so you know a lot about us. Only golden dragons have the power to assume any form. My father was a knight with bright eyes. He treated life like a beautiful adventure. He loved humans and tried to understand them. Thanks to him, I believe every man is equal and liberty shouldn't be peddled. Father claimed the world to be filled with chaos and order. Chaos equals aggression. Order is the defense against it. What happened to him? He taught me to live among humans and moved on. Dragons do that. A dragon appeared during the siege of the Lavalette's castle. I was helping Arian Lavalette. Why? He fought against tyranny and its transgressions. I understood him very well. Vergen could have used someone like him. Does anyone else know? Deathmold. I meant allies. Jorveth? Jorveth invented the whole Dragonslayer story. He believes Eden needs someone like me, and someone like me needs a legend. He was right. If a dragon helped Vergen's defenders, Henselt wouldn't stand a chance. I thought about that. But what would happen to Epper Edern when the dust settles? You can't foresee everything. You know how the world treats freaks as well as I do. But if Vergen falls, your ideals will be vanquished. Maybe averting that is worth the sacrifice. Let's for a moment assume I revealed my dual nature. Who would lead Upper Eden? Do you see a replacement for me? It's hard to imagine one that compares to you. Dwarves will support their own candidate, elves theirs, and humans will start looking for a king. That's why I must ask you to keep this knowledge to yourself. We'll have to deal with Henselt without a dragon's help. And we will, also thanks to you. I'll never forget what you're doing for Eden, no matter your reasons, Witcher. Let's go. The defenders need you.
What happened while I was gone, Zoltan? The fun is about to begin. Herdsman Hedzolt personally leads all his cattle here. We'll win. Is that all? Ah, we've got unexpected guests. Who? I think one of them's a she. Ugly like shite after winter, but she's got tits. You should have seen our lads' faces when those eyesores entered the courtyard. Did they say why they went to help us? Wizard good. Wizard's foe is Troll's foe. <laughs> I met this pair. They can be of use. Good. We want to create a land without prejudice. The news that Henselt will personally lead the assault spread. The spirit of our lads fell into the gutter. Tell them, Zoltan, that if they don't believe in victory, they might as well fly a white flag. I tried, but they still look down. Gather the defenders, Zoltan. Why so quiet? I thought you'd be merry. King Henselt himself will honor us with a visit. We're all going to die. We can't repel the attack. Henselt is invincible. We won't be fighting mere minions, but their king. And the king himself will have to recognize our victory. Could a soldier dream of better than defeating a monarch? Or maybe you're afraid to fight. Maybe we should fly a white flag. It's so simple. Henselt will quickly set up his order here. Inns will be marked humans only. Dwarves will choke in the mines. Elves will perish, hunted in the forests. Lords will slaughter peasants because they didn't bow low enough. Is that the land you want to leave to your children? No. Never. You're shitting bricks because Henselt is coming. Who is he? A god? No. He has arms, legs, and blood, as red as any of ours. If he dares to cross these walls, then we'll gladly spill some of it. Yes! Get Henselt! Long live Saskia! Many of you won't see the light of dawn again. Many won't return to your women or drink with friends. But we will care for and honor their graves when they enter the earth. A Durnian Earth. Those who survive will live with their heads held high, for only such a life makes sense. Now, to arms and to the walls, let's show Henselt real war! <laughs> Hensel will pay dearly for this siege! Attack!
death squad. Or freedom fighters in an uneven battle, nobling their suffering. It all depends on your point of view. I helped Yorbeth. I gave him my trust. I joined Saskia and took the side of the rebels, their new values and ideals. Time will tell if I was right. One thing is sure. Elves are the best archers who have ever walked this earth. Yorveth, that's what I call an entrance. I have to admit, the squirrel has style. Not all is lost. We need to cut off Hensel's escape. What are you talking about? He looks as if he likes it here. He'll change his mind. Join Yorveth and shut the main gate. Yarpin says Deathmold's magic damaged him. Yarpin knows fuck all of the gates. Cover my ass and I'll close it. The fate of the battle hangs on it, Dwarf. There's no bloody gate that Sultan Chive can't close. Yorvith, we need to get to the main gate, now. Admit it. You thought I wouldn't come back, Windblade. You're hellishly good. We need to stop Hensel from retreating. And then force him to try it. There's no time to waste. To the gate! Cut off like sitting ducks. Maybe they'll surrender. Sire, your orders. The battle is over, King. You won, and the victors state their terms. You know my terms. You will relinquish Eden and sign an act of unconditional surrender in which you'll promise your troops will never cross the Pontar. Is that all? You'll pay war reparations and recognize the free realm of Upper Eden with Saskia of Vergen at its head. What about me and my men? What awaits us? Freedom. It's a great thing. Look how many of my soldiers died defending it. How much do you want? We'll discuss the war reparations in detail at Loch Muin before esteemed witnesses. There's one thing Saskia didn't mention. I'm listening. Since the dawn of time, wars were, are, and will yet be. One side wins, the other loses. But military conflict should be carried out under chivalrous rules and laws. What's your point, sorceress? War criminals, including Deathmold, must be punished. I need an advisor. War criminals must be punished. You'll have a new advisor, Sheila de Tanzerville. Has this witch gone mad? It's a necessary condition. Deathmold committed a crime and he must be punished. As you wish. Execute him. 
Don't allow them to harass me like a dog! You'll see how a real sorcerer dies, foolish whores! Swear an oath, and you'll walk free. Who am I negotiating with anyway? Philippa Eilhart and I speak with one voice. Be wary of the sorceresses. They often forget whose perch is higher. Philippa is my advisor. We await your decision, King. I, King Henselt, Lord of Kedwin, swear before witnesses that I will relinquish Adarian borders. I recognize Saskia of Vergen's reign in the realm of the Pontar Valley, and I swear to pay war reparations in the amount agreed upon at Loch Muin. You're free. Show the king the way out. It's time to go, Saskia. Yes. I don't like it. What? Saskia. I know her well. She's never behaved like that. Her eyes look as if she's taken fist tech. I assure you, she doesn't use it. Let's follow them. She was in a hurry, maybe she left something. Nothing, except for women's finery. Yorveth, over here. What is it? A tome of potion recipes. We've no time to read books. Sorceresses carefully guard books like this. Not that carefully. After all, she left it behind. She was in a hurry. Could this book have anything to do with the Dragon Slayer? Most things in this land seem to have something to do with Saskia, the dragon. How do you know? She told me. Then keep your mouth shut, Gwynblade, because if... I know what will happen if they learn, Yorveth. I've found Thomador's recipe. Eilhart already told us the ingredients for mage pain. How is it relevant? Usually the recipe for an antidote is right next to the one for the poison. I can recite it exactly. Royal blood, an immortal, a dragon's dream, and petals from a rose of remembrance. Yet this book doesn't even mention a rose of remembrance. I recall perfectly that Eilhart said a rose of remembrance combined with an immortal heals the mind. What if she lied? Maybe it doesn't heal the mind, but influences it. Philippa passed the flower to Saskia through a kiss, the symbol of love and perdition. I'm confused. I think Philippa subjugated Saskia's mind by adding the rose to the antidote. I'll kill that bitch. Philippa has magic and an obedient dragon at her command. She could have a strong influence on the conference. But what does she want? We can only learn that in Loch Muin.
Saski has disappeared. People are getting riled. Dwarves too. Saski is spellbound. Philippa controls her. You're shitting me. I knew something was up. I could feel it. She ordered Deathmold executed. No trial, just like that. A gesture from Philippa is all it took. That bastard deserved it. I wouldn't be surprised if Zoltan had ordered it, as vengeful as he is. But Saskia? Where is she? Philip has taken her to Loch Mween. I'm going after Saskia, with Yorveth. Everything suggests those responsible for Foltest's death will be at Loch Mween. Some still say you killed him. I've got to stop that drivel. Don't have a choice, but you do. The elite of the North is gathering at Loch Mween. I couldn't forgive myself if I wasn't there. It'd be a sin against art. The art of poking your nose in others' business. You'll be needed here until Saskia returns. Order must prevail. There can be no strife. The victory over Henselt was an important step, but only the first on a long road. The hymn I composed could help. Virgin will need many more songs. I certainly hope our paths will cross again, Geralt of Rivia. Stop dramatizing. You can be sure of that. We've got unfinished business of our own. Huh? Oh, hi. Let's go then, Gwynblade. Sheila de Tanserville. I'd sensed from the start that some dark mystery lay behind that cold countenance. Following the demise of the Council and Conclave, there was no one left to keep the mages in line. But Regicide? Why? What was this all about? It seemed these questions would be answered at Loch Wing, an ancient city amidst mountains, the remnants of the civilization of the Vrans, whose dusk had come long ago. And you would be right to ask, why did you not set out for Loch Wien, Master Dandelion? Vergen was free, yet what is freedom without its awareness? It might too easily pass from hand to hand were a nation to lack individuals capable of pointing the way. I remained in the Pontar Valley. That is the task fate seemed to assign me, to safeguard freedom as it budded and bloomed. Who knows, I may yet prove freedom's barred. Yet forever feeling a vast, shared responsibility for the fate of the North, I dispatched to Loch Muin my faithful and capable friend, Geralt of Rivia. Have I mentioned his disdain for politics? Well, it was at Loch Muin where he could finally give vent to it. Evan Gesein? Do you know what this is? I know. Who it is. Triss Marigold. Until recently advisor to King Foltus. Artifact compression complicated spell. Is she alive? Her life processes are on hold, but it is reversible. Though, very difficult. You created a portal between Loch Muin and Nilfgaard. You should manage the figurine. Stand back. I cannot be sure how her body will react to decompression. No pentagrams, candles, spilt blood. It figures you'd know little about magic, Ambassador. It matters not. We need her alive, Asira. Make sure her body survives decompression well. I'll do what I can. But she will be disoriented for some time.
What is your name? Uh -huh. Tell me your name. Tritz! Ah! Wiese getoch gedein. Wiese es spät ab Wovret. Dartocht ab Nedling derien. Mehen erwähnens ab Turin. Me pöft in Alverdeg. Merigold. Your name is Triss Merigold. Leads to the city gates. We're almost there. I'll be trapped. Long time ago, my lord. First that of the Vrams, then ours. No, disease did, and the climate. Long ago, the sources of the Pontar did not freeze over and flowed all year. Flowers still bloomed on these slopes in Bellum.
Knights of the Flaming Rose at a peace summit. I wonder whose side they're on. On that of whoever paid them. They've made camp outside the city walls. Means they're not here in an official capacity. Are they on vacation? Maybe they just don't want to stand out. Eilhart has a dragon up her sleeve. Radovid has invited a unit of the Order's knights. Don't forget Sheila and Henselt. It should be an interesting peace summit. Any idea who might have summoned them? Radovid. Now the scum of the Order wear the Redanian coat of arms as they burn pyres. Witch hunts are their favorite pastime. Or so I've heard. Radovid witnessed what the Order did in Vizima. He saw the Grand Master's madness with his own eyes, yet he gave them a new home. For a good reason, I expect. That's easy. He needed a whip against Eilhart. You shouldn't let them see you. I know. To them, a good elf is a dead elf. It's not because you're an elf, it's because you're Yorvith. I'll try to enter the city through the caves. I'd advise you to do the same. The knights will know I'm wanted. You know of a passage? I know of a cave nearby. There are many ways to enter Loch Muin, my friend. If Radovid has summoned the Order, I'm certain the others have brought their armies as well. The city must be full of soldiers. All of them sitting as if on a witch's bomb, waiting for a spark. But that may be to our advantage. If the rulers have holed themselves up in camps, it should be easy to move about between them. Let's go before we get noticed. to see Radovid. And who might you be? Geralt of Rivia. Murderer of kings! Get him!
vibrating.
goody over here. Look what I found. Keep your distance. You've already forgotten that a similar creature hung around my room.
teeming with wildlife. It's now dead. The royal delegations arrived here that way. I know. That's why we went around. What exactly killed the Vrans? As the years went by and the climate turned colder, the Vrans had less and less food. Their hunters descended to the lowlands where they encountered the first human settlers of their plains. Typhus, dysentery. The Vrans began to fall ill. Stink. They tried to save themselves, building an aqueduct and sewers that rival today's. But it grew colder, and the canals remained frozen for most of the year. When the elves arrived, they encountered only ghosts. A dead city falling into ruin. The Enshe rebuilt it, restored its former beauty. Humans did not arrive here for many more years. Marshal Raupenek then swiftly proved himself more deadly than all diseases combined. He attacked at night, murdering all the We're in Loch Mean. We're on the fringes somewhere. We should find what we came for nearer the main quarters. Let's go.
magic or danger.
They gagged Philippa in the nick of time. She almost cast a spell. Rotting in the Redanian dungeon now, in special shackles. Radovid's right to show the witches their place. I wonder what they'll do to her. Either the Executioner or the monsters will have their fun. They say Logmuin's dungeons are full of scum of all kinds. No idea what they locked her up for, but every sorceress is guilty of something. True enough. Not likely to see anyone weeping for her. A dungeon befits Philippa Eilhard very well, though Gallows would be even better. If they kill her, you can forget about healing Saskia. They must guard her as heavily as the Emperor's bedchamber. We'll not get in there. I'm in no hurry to visit the Emperor's bedchamber, but we've got to get into the dungeon. Look for a passage through the sewers. I'll locate Eilhard's quarters. If she didn't expect to be arrested, I may find something interesting there. The tunnels beneath the city sound reasonable. They used to lead almost everywhere. The it's still worth a shot. Let's go then. I'll find Phil. Right. Medallion's telling me something.
I don't believe you killed Foltest. I didn't. But the bounty is a bounty. I'm sure you understand. As a professional, <laughs> it's nothing personal. <sighs> One more windbag. <laughs> I knew we'd meet again. Not you. Silgrat doesn't forget humiliation. What do you want? You won't win this time. All of Edern will know the power of Silgrat's fist. Stand and fight. off oh the fucking shame
What can I do for you? Do you play dice? Would you like to join us? Anyone else I can... Two mages! They only play mar... Another time. How can I help? I want to play dice. You must first prove your... Yes. Let's play dice. You must first... Care for a... Care to play dice. You stink.
Oh. Mm, nothing special. Oh, it's a lovely day today. Let me guess. Behold, the way to spoil my f the mighty his secret. Now you tell me. I don't work with sorceresses. This is no job for me. What's going on? Are you about to fight? The Conclave has forbidden dueling. You can't just back out. We agreed. We have commitments to fulfill. You did take an advance on your fee. And I'm keeping it. Don't you follow me. Witcher Geralt. A sight for sore eyes you are. May we speak? Didn't expect to see you again. Certainly not here. Loch Muin is an intriguing place. For scientists especially. We've mounted a small expedition and require protection. Sounds like regular witcher's work to me. It'll cost you. We never imagined otherwise. 
Our employer spares no expense on scientific undertakings. You may expect a handsome fee. After you complete the task. I'll need an advance. We'd prefer to pay a lump sum at the end. You gave that mercenary coin in advance. Yes, but he took the coin and did nothing. Thief. You were gullible. Can't hold me responsible for that. If you insist, we can advance you some coin ourselves. Though we're practically penniless. I don't have much time. Let me hear some details. The sorceress will reveal everything. We're on our way to meet her. I can only say it concerns Ebder Henna. His laboratory, to be precise. Der Henna is dead. I know a thing or two about monsters, and about sorceresses. What's this one's name? I'm sorry, but we cannot disclose her name until you agree to join us. Nice talking to you, then. Cynthia! Her name is Cynthia! Everyone's heard of his Thousand Genie Curse, but few know that he also had a penchant for the history of Loch Nguyen. He was particularly interested in the Vrans, and their ultimate decline as a civilization. In his memoirs, he mentions that he left his archive here. That's how we pinpointed the location of his laboratory. You did. The sorceress did, in point of fact. But we're the ones who know everything about Ebder Henna. I wrote my dissertation about the man. To arrive at the laboratory, we must pass through the sewers. Remember that potion you gave me back in Flotsam? Of course. How's the experiment going? Noticed any side effects? Or peculiar interactions with other potions? Yeah, every time I mix it with vodka, my tongue gets hairy. Tell you what, I'll catch up to you when I'm ready to go. But we gave you coin! I didn't say I'm not gonna do it. I just need to think. We trust you're nothing like that fraud. We'll await you in the Crypt of Mages beneath that tower.
How are things? You're either very unobservant or very r I thought I'd meet some of my colleagues from years- Mages aren't no- You'll tell- They've all for- I'd like to- Sure. I believe I saw you in Oxenfurt, too. Seems we only ever meet on Elvenland. Indeed. But I suspect you're not here to chat about Elven ruins. On the contrary, I find Elven ruins interesting. Do you really? Elven works are not half as interesting as gnomish ones. But even ruined, Loch Muin is impressive. It must have been beautiful in the times of the First Conclave. Everything was better before the war, as they say. The sources. Those children that old Geoffrey Monk brought here to tr- Somehow I just can't imagine. You met him. His death was- You see- Values are being- Exactly. The world grew up, losing its virginity in a rape. What use are masters of magic and legendary heroes to a grown-up world? They're of no use. That's the point. Today- Yet not everyone understands that and not everyone like- You're so clever. Actually, I'm here. I'm no ex- You're the best swordsmith of my- I'm more interested in the cultural rel- I'm going to need it. I guess the circumstance. I'm interested in the Wild Hunt. Any chance you know something about it? Uh, <laughs> no. Birds are not exactly my speciality. Thanks. I found a manuscript. Interesting. This volume is sealed by ancient... Only highly valuable things get that kind of protection. Too true. Do you know how to unlock it? I'd need ingredients that can be obtained from certain monsters. Unfortunately, they don't occur around here. I'll need the pheromones of a Queen Endriga, the blood of a Necker warrior, and the brain of a Bulvor. We can substitute the tongue of a Rotfiend for the Harpy's egg. Quite a list.
Hey! Watch it! It's a lovely day today. Welcome. 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 A true good day. Smelled something. What was that? Bloody. What's going on here? Enough! Nothing worth your while. A little difference of opinion. I could treat this as an assault on representatives of the Redanian royal delegation. Yeah, you could. What would that entail? A stint in the dungeon ought to calm you down. Then we'll see. A stupid street fight, and you want to dump me in a dungeon with Philippa Eilhart? Ah, we're not animals. A modest contribution to the Order, along with your word of honor that you'll not do this again. A contribution in my word of honor or the dungeon. Hmm. Precisely. Listen, Sir Knight, if you don't shut your fat mouth, I'll start a row that'll make the Battle of Brenner look like a squabble. Bind this madman and lock him up with the witch! Yeah. 